supreme up in my truck at a carbon 15. No. Just put a kid in my truck, so when I stop smoking the seed, hey, my bitch don't give a shit. Alright, so before I start this video, if you guys have any bread laying around and want to buy any high overall account, hit up legit accounts, tell them I sent you, and the link will be down in the description. And also, if you guys want to buy cheap my team coins at a 5% off discounted rate, use my code underrated and the link will be down in the description if you're interested or if you have any questions. Alright, so what's good YouTube? I'm back with another video. And before I start, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I do have a lot more 2K20 videos. I'll leave that playlist down in the description below. And the beginning of this video, I did show you guys me and LD's DM, but I'm not going to show you a lot of it literally because it's just personal information and it's personal stuff that I'm talk I'm going to be talking to him about. But I did want to let you guys know that I did get in contact with them. So any ideas you guys want in 2K20, just comment down below. Like I say in all of my videos, and a lot of you guys didn't believe that I got in contact with them, even though he tweeted at me and followed me on Twitter. So I just wanted to put that at the beginning so you guys know. But now that I got that out the way, I want to talk about Kiosk specifically to be in 2K20. And they took it out of 2K19. I don't know why. Maybe they took it out because like the logos, the brands we were putting in the game, they didn't like that actual brand in real life didn't want to be in the game. I don't know, but they did take it out of 2K20 and for the or in 2K19. And for those of you guys that didn't have 2K18, a kiosk is literally where you make your own personal clothing, specifically making your own shirt. And a lot of people, I see this in my comment section a lot. A lot of people actually want to make it so like there's a kiosk in 2K20, but you can make your own shirt, you can make your own pants, you can make your own hat, you can make your own arm sleeve. You, you basically you make your own brand within the game. That's what people want in 2K20. And I don't have any information on that, but I do know that the kiosk in 2K18 was very popular and a lot of people want it back. And this is a concept right here, all right? This is made by PG Craig. He has some good ass concepts. And I just want to bring it to you guys because I want to see if you guys actually want this in 2K20. So for this one right here, it's literally like a kiosk 2.0 and you get verified with it. So basically what it is, is it, it, the description's right there. You just make your own shirt, make your own brand. It wouldn't just be this type of shirt. Like you can, you can make your shirt, you can make your pants, whatever you make, it's going to be in the kiosk. And then specifically with this, like with this example right here, he used Duke Dennis and another Twitch streamer and he put their clothing that they made in real life. I'm not promoting their clothing, but 2K would be promoting their clothing if they had this in 2K20. Like if Duke Dennis made his own shirt in 2K20, which I'm pretty sure he would, that would be the smart idea to do if Kiosk was actually in it. If he made his shirt in 2K20, 2k will basically be promoting his merchandise so that's probably why they aren't doing it because promoting within a game does cost a lot especially with a big company like 2k but it's still just an idea it could possibly be in 2k20 but with this is basically you just make your own shirt and then the whoever buys it you basically get part of the earnings from that vc but the only way to get part of that earnings is you have to be verified and you can see this screenshot right here you can get verified in multiple ways and the multiple ways you can get verified within the kiosk is let's say you're not a youtuber you don't like you don't have that youtube logo above your head you don't have that twitch logo above your head like you do in 2k19 there's other ways to get verified and one of them is within the kiosk and basically the only way to get verified within the kiosk is pretty straightforward you have to be like a popular brand or you have to be like a popular player within the game so let's say you make like a couple shirts and all those shirts do really well you can basically get verified and this is the verification logo right here for the kiosk and it's actually pretty dope and the only way to get that is basically through a creator code all the information is in both of these pictures so like if you don't understand what I'm saying then you can just read the information on both of the pictures and but there's also a creator code that you can basically like unlock just like in Fortnite and you can basically like like basically qualify for it. I think that's how you do it in Fortnite I don't have a I don't have a um, creator code in Fortnite so I can't really speak too much about it 
but that's what this concept is and i thought it was really dope it's basically like a kiosk 2.0 it's an upgraded version of the kiosk in 2k18 and i don't know why they took it out of 2k18 the only reason literally like i said earlier the only reason i can think of is because it's promoting other brands like supreme they made a lot of supreme shirts within the kiosk that's what we made and it was promoting that it was promoting bape there was a lot of bape shirts in the kiosk so and also not only that there was a lot of racism and like the racist comments that people put on shirts in 2k18 in the kiosk was actually really like really bad and i don't know like why people actually do that the world is kind of like messed up in that way but a lot of people did put like racist stuff on the shirts so that could be one reason they took it out and didn't put it in 2k19 but other than that, I can't think of another reason they took it out. If you guys have any idea, just comment down below. But more important than that, if you guys want it in 2K20, comment down below. I did make a video on this earlier, maybe like, I honestly don't know, maybe like a month ago. And it did get a couple, like a couple thousand of views. But the only reason I'm making this video again is because my fan base is getting bigger. And I need way more feedback than I got last time i made the video so like i said if you guys want it in 2k20 just comment down below i need as much feedback as possible because everything you guys tell me i'm gonna tell ld2k and on top of that i'm gonna link them to the videos so just tell me what you guys want like i said a billion times and i'll let him know but this one was just it was a brilliant idea and also i do want to talk about verification logos in 2k20 you guys might be at you got actually i did get this question a couple times how to get verified and no he doesn't ld2k doesn't tell me things that are gonna be in 2k20 which is what some of you guys think he actually does i don't know what's gonna be in 2k20 the only like he followed me for me to give him like ideas what to put in 2k20 and i guess he liked my content i don't know but he's not supposed to tell me what's gonna be in 2k20 i'm not like i, I don't work for 2k so i can't I can't give you like 100% leaked information. Like the only information I'm giving you guys is basically the videos that I'm making right now are basically ideas and then I want you guys to tell me other ideas within the comment section if that makes sense. So nothing I put on my channel is a, like nothing I put on my channel about 2K20 news as of right now is not 100% verified because they haven't even told us any information on 2K20. But I do know that I can reach LD2K and I can give him the ideas that you guys want. That's a fact. That's 100%. Like, I showed you part of the DM earlier. So I can get in contact with them. So whatever you guys want, just let me know. But I get that comment a lot. How to get the verification logo. I, I have no clue. I'm still trying to get it myself. But I think it's too late to get it in 2K19. So hopefully in 2K20, I will end up getting it. I'm going to keep grinding. I've been posting every day for so long. So 2K20, I'm really hoping to get it. That's my plan. But that's really all I have for you guys with this video. It was a it was a really short video, but it was a good informational video. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys with this one. Comment down below what you want in 2K20, and that's all. But if you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace. How much that is monthly? Oh, my dog. Holy crap. That's crazy. Who told you that? The boss? Did you see the guy or no? You said you met him? Uh, yo, he could have been like, I don't know what he does. What the heck did you just try to, what do you think he does? <laughs> Yo, holy crap. <laughs> Yo, he dumped on three people. <laughs> holy crap. Yo, I ain't never seen that before. Holy crap. I might I might have to save this gameplay just cuz I'm doing good. Here. What? I can't hear you. He what? Oh, that's how he's rich? Why is he? Yeah. Hey, you're in New York. That's believable. That's believable. Dang, I didn't know that. I know, that's how I usually shoot. God dang it.